Hey everybody, what is up? This is Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com. Thank you guys for checking out another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to modify your iPhone 3G camera to perform a little more like an iPhone 3GS. What do I mean by this? Basically, it'll give your iPhone 3G the tap to focus feature. That's something that we normally don't have on the iPhone 3G. You have it on the 3GS. So, let me show you what this looks like. Go ahead on my phone here and zoom in a little bit here and we're going to go ahead and open up the camera app and it looks normal but as you see when I tap probably can't see because of the background but as you see now when I have my hand back there you'll see that when I tap we have the little box for tap to focus something like I said we normally don't have on an iPhone 3G and for proof that this is an iPhone 3G and not a 3GS I'll go ahead and take off this case and as you'll see on the back wait for it to get ready, I don't know if you can see that yep, uh, 8 gigabyte and if you know anything about iPhones you know there's no 8 gigabyte iPhone 3GS but there is an 8 gigabyte iPhone 3G so let's get in on, uh, let's get started on how to do this but before I do get into the actual um, <clears throat> the actual tutorial part, I'm going to be giving you guys some disclaimers. Number one, this doesn't actually give your iPhone 3G tap, tap to focus. It adds the animation to the existing camera application. Basically, since the actual tap focusing is a hardware thing, we will not be able to actually give it focus. But we can make it look like it does have it, which is somewhat cool. And also, your iPhone must be running at least firmware 3.0, no, 3.1, sorry. Um, if you ha are running 3.1.2, 3.1.1, no, not 3.1.2, 3.0.2, 3.0.1, anything like that, uh, 3.0, 2.2.1, anything lower, um, what this will do is when you go ahead and hit the camera application, it'll crash. Um, don't really know why, I guess these just aren't compatible files, so make sure you're running at least firmware 3.0. One, so I have 3.1.2, and I'll show you that really quickly in the settings application. So I'll go ahead and open that up, and zoom in, and we'll go into general and about, and as you see right there, version is 3.1.2, and also as you see right there, the capacity is seven gigabytes. So I'm not doing anything like that. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. What you're going to need is a computer and some way of SSHing into your device. I'm going to go ahead and take my camera off of the tripod. Just give it a second. There we go. Get rid of the tripod. All right. So let's get started with the actual tutorial, the whole process and everything. Go ahead and get my phone and put it on my dock. You're going to need some way of SSHing, like I just said. I'm actually going to be a. Uh, <clears throat> using iFunbox, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, really cool, and I'll get to that later. So what you're going to need to do is download the uh, link in the video description, it will be cameratutorial.zip. Go ahead and open up the camera tutorial folder after you've extracted, let's go ahead and close out of iTunes. I hate when iTunes comes up during a video, because I plugged it in. <laughs> So in here, what you'll get are two things, camera backup and camera mod for 3G. <clears throat> the camera the camera backups, those are my actual backups that I uh, use myself. Um, I recommend you backup your original files first, but if you don't, I went ahead and included mine, uh, just in case you forget. So camera backups, those are just basically the same files that are in the other one, except these are my backups. And then the camera mod for 3G, of course, contains the modded files. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, start getting in with this. We're going to go ahead and SSH into our phone. Like I said, I'll be using iPhone box. Here it is. And now what we're going to do first, or what you should do first is uh, make your backups, of course. So go in the video description and it also where I had that, video, that uh, file, and you'll also see like <clears throat> different directories uh, lower on. Uh, go ahead and back those up. 
now let's get started you want to go if you're using this go to raw file system and open up um, what is it setting system go to system library now the first files that we will be at, uh, putting on are these dot plist files the preference one this one this one and this one those go in this directory system library core services bring you closer core services springboard dot app and just inside the springboard dot app folder you want to take those plist files and drag them in all three of them after you've done that you're gonna wanna he go ahead and get started pulling up the, the other one so hit the go up a level button hit it twice and you'll be back into system library now you wanna go to system library private private frameworks and this is where we're going to be putting in the camera dot framework file or folder so go ahead and grab it and drag it in and now you want to hit uh, go up a level and you'll be at system library inside of here is where you want to drop drop in video decoder folder and video encoder folder so just take them one at a time or whatever and just drag them in and then take the other one and drag it in as well after you have all those files onto your device what you're going to do is close out of your S FTP and everything <clears throat> and go on your phone and you want to restart it so turn it off and wait for it to turn off and then turn it back on and if you want you can go ahead and uh, unplug it because you, you don't need the computer again go ahead and put this on my stand here so yeah guys this has been Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com with a quick tutorial on modifying your iPhone 3G camera <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to turn back on so I can show you that it did work <clears throat> but uh yeah so this was just a quick tutorial you don't need to be a genius to do it uh, you do have to modify some system files but a lot of different hacks do that I mean come on jailbreaking it in the first place does it so yeah so this is Phil uh, make sure to comment rate subscribe just gonna get this all done while it's coming on make sure to comment rate subscribe for more tutorials and videos I do have the review of the iKit doc uh, recorded and everything it's sitting on the hard drive. Um, I just need to uh, upload it. We'll most likely upload it on Sunday. Or Saturday, don't know yet. Probably Sunday. And then I will get started on the Elago products, including this awesome stand. And the cases and the screen protector. And I am actually using the screen protector. But I'm not using the case, I'm using my brand new Got Today Swagbucks case. So yeah. Um, this is taking forever to turn back on, guys. Uh, but just just take my word for it; it works. Um, this is Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com. Uh, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe for the newest tutorials, newest videos, whenever I can make them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.